Hello beauties, this is the look we're gonna do today. So if you wanna see how I did it, just keep on watching. First I'm taking this Juvia's Place um, eye primer and I'm just gonna put that under my brow bone and all over my lid and then I'll uh, just use like a beauty blender or a brush to smooth it out and blend it. You know what to do, girl. All right, y'all, so once it's nice and blended out and smooth, I'm gonna go in with this Beauty Bay Neutral Palette. And the first shade I'm gonna use is called Wine. It's like that reddish color towards the bottom. So I'm just taking a brush and kind of marking out where, like the angle that I want um, my outer corner to be like. Doesn't gotta be perfect because we're gonna like blend it out a little bit, but yeah, do that. All right, guys, so now I'm going to go in with this fluffy brush and start to diffuse those edges a little bit and also just drag that wing out a little. And uh, I'm dragging the color like towards the inner corner of my eye because we want to diffuse all of those harsh lines a little bit. And just keep going until you're happy. Alright y'all, so now I'm going to go in with this shade called Pancake and just put that um, like above my crease. This is going to be the transition color. So I'm just using a fluffy brush and you want to work um, like in circular motions and just use like a light hand. So it will help if you hold the brush at like the tip of the brush instead of um, towards, the, towards the top because... It, when you hold it towards the top you have like more control and it tends to um, like give more pressure so you don't want to press too hard <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say um, so yeah do that baby so now I have a flat brush and I'm just gonna put a highlight under my brow this is a matte um, like a off-white cream color it's called bone but you can also use like a, a light shimmer up there as well all right so now I took the color wine again and I'm tapping it in with um, it's like a very small uh, fluffy brush I believe it's from Morphe so I'm just gonna put that right under see the front of my brow has like um, it's like a crease kind of I don't know not a crease but like a a ditch <laughs> I don't know what to call that part but yeah I just put it there and like smoke it out a little bit I'm just gonna dip back into that other um, like soft pink color just to blend it out a little bit more and it's looking like this so far so now I'm going to take the NYX Glitter Primer, which is awesome, and I just put some on the back of my hand and then uh, tap it on with my finger wherever I want it to stick. And um, you can use a brush for this too, but it's not really necessary when you're not trying to be too precise. So I'm just going like up to the um, pink and... And then I'm going to tap this color on. What is this color called? It is called um, Lock It. And that's like a... What is it? It's like a champagne kind of color. So yeah, before that glitter glue dries, you want to make sure you really pack it on there. You could also use concealer or primer for this, but that glitter glue, it just works so good with the 
with the shimmery colors because I don't know why <laughs> it just does it makes them stick really good and uh, they're very sparkly so once you're happy with that I grabbed this color called cocktail it's um, like a pink shimmer and I'm just placing that right right there on like the outer corner part um, same thing on the other side just gonna smooth that out with that fluffy brush again make sure everything is blended nicely so now I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty um, diamond what is it diamond something diamond bomb in the shade how many carrots and it's just like a very fine sparkle it's also good for your um, Decollete <laughs> and Huda Beauty concealer in the shade Marmalade. I'm just gonna spot conceal a little bit and uh, then, you know, not too much. You don't need too much if if you don't need too much. You know what I mean? I like to wet my beauty blender with a spot um <laughs> with the spray bottle and then uh, let the concealer sit for for like a minute before you start blending it out because it will just give it time to melt into your skin better because of the heat and whatnot. So now I'm taking this Juvia's Place contour stick in the shade J Jackmel. Jackmel. I don't know how you pronounce that, but you know. Just um, put it in these areas and then I like to use a little brush sometimes for the nose contour. Um, this brush in particular is really nice for that. It's a Sigma brush and what is it? Guys, I never know the names of these things. I just don't. Hold on. So it's a Sigma medium angled shading brush and the number is E70. And I love that one for contouring the nose this is a morphe brush um, that I always use to blend out uh, like cream contours what is it called maybe I, maybe I'll make another video about all the brushes that I have because um, there's just too many to name right now but yeah just blend that as good as you can blend the nose this this brush also is one of my favorites um from morphe it's like a it's like a thin kabuki brush it's a uh, morphe y12 and it's really good for the nose and um, under the lip also so so now i'm going to take this makeup by mario foundation in the shade 16c I don't know what is wrong <laughs> with the applicator because there's no like there's nothing on the bottom I don't I don't understand it at all but whatever we make it work and um, so then I took a Sigma foundation brush F60 and uh, just to apply it where I wanted it and then I blend it out with the beauty sponge beauty blender um, I'm just kind of like fusing that uh, contour in with and the concealer in with the foundation because I don't you don't need like a full face of foundation sometimes you know so this is gonna give you like a, a just like a less um, less product <laughs> face I guess I don't know it just looks good just do it And then I'm going to go back in with that concealer and just put a little bit on my nose to break up that um, brown contour and that same Sigma brush to 
just like tap it out. You don't want to, uh, you don't want to do too much because then it might get too wide or whatever. This is a translucent Laura Mercier um, setting powder. So I like to just take a little bit on the brush and tap it in. You could use a sponge or one of those little beauty puff things, whatever you prefer. Um, but the brush works just fine. So I use just like a little bit of product. You don't want to put it too heavy for that first um, that first set. So mostly focus in the T-zone. You can do under the cheekbones. I actually wanted this other color, but they didn't have it. Um, Fenty Beauty blush I have and it's called kilowatt blush oh it's it's technically it's a highlighter but it's very pink so i guess i use it as a blush uh ginger binge and moscow mule those are the shades so i like to bring it under my eyes a little and onto the apple of my cheeks and a little bit on my nose just to make you look young that is the um Too Faced Chocolate Soleil I believe it's called yeah and it's a uh, it's a matte bronzer but it's got like a gray undertone almost to it so I really like to use that one for um for contouring because sometimes when you use the warm contour it just I don't know it doesn't look like natural which is something I wish I could find in the cream uh, contour because I haven't been able to find one that has like the gray undertone so gotta work with what we got so yeah I'm just gonna um, you know set those contour areas um, also do the jawline I I typically don't put the cream contour on my jawline um, and maybe if I was doing a photo shoot or something but it's just like an extra step that I don't feel like doing so I just use the powder and that's usually good enough for me and then uh, that Morphe brush is really gonna help to blend out the nose contour because you don't want to keep like the line too sharp <laughs> over there or else it can look weird the Anastasia Glow Kit um, and this Iconic London Setting Spray. So first I'm gonna shake it up and spray it. This spray by the way smells so good and it's so refreshing and it has those little sparkles in it and it's cute. Um, so this Glow Kit I'm gonna take that lighter shade and I like to put that like right there on the highest like point of my cheekbone like the, the part that really pops out the most just dust the um, excess on wherever and then you could take a little smaller like whatever brush really and uh, do the nose sometimes I just use my finger too but if you want to be really precise you know whatever so that's how we are so far so now I'm gonna uh, grab a nude eyeliner I believe this one is, um, it's, just, it's, I don't know, it's like Maybelline or something. It's just a drugstore, um, nude liner, but it does the job. This, uh, Super Sizer Fibers mascara from CoverGirl is pretty good. Um, I don't really like to spend a lot of money on mascara, honestly, because I'm always wearing the, the false lashes, but if you don't wear falsies then it's definitely worth it to um to go and and grab a higher end mascara because they just work so good so i'm going to take this lash from ardell and pop those on real quick i'll make another video about uh how to apply lashes but i do have um i think two different youtube shorts about the lashes so maybe i'll just make a longer video explaining how to do it So I like to do my under eyes after my foundation's already done. So I'm gonna take that wine color again and just connect the the outer corner 
to um, just under my lower lash line. And then I like to stop about um, halfway, like where my pupil ends. Now I'm going to go back into that color called Cocktail, the that shimmery pink that we put on the top, and I'm just going to put that right in my inner corner down there. I also did put the NYX glue down there also. I think I did. Did I? Maybe I didn't actually. I don't know, but these Beauty Bay um, eyeshadows, they're just, they're so nice, and they're really affordable. Um, I'm not sure where you can buy them besides online, but they're they're amazing. I love them. And uh, just some mascara down below. So now I'm going to take um, just a little craft brush that I got from like uh, Hobby Lobby. And that NYX glitter glue again, I drew like a little triangle shape, um, like an upside down triangle shape. And just tapped out with my finger and then I took some glitter from NYX as well and uh, with a flat brush I'm just gonna tap it on on top of that um, glitter primer and I don't I guess these are glitter tears I don't know it's cute if you're extra and you like to stand out this is from Luminous. it's a liquid lipstick in the shade forever rain and it's like a perfect nude and I used to um, sell this Luminous products, but uh, I don't anymore, so I still have a bunch of them. But this, um, their liquid lipstick really lasts a long time. It's like waterproof, so definitely check those out. I would also have done a, like a brown or a mauve like lip liner but I couldn't find it at the time so I didn't but I hope you enjoyed this look that's um, all there is to it if you have any questions or whatever let me know but please like and subscribe and share my video if you enjoyed it love you babes thanks